A very good evening. This is Abigail Karmalim bringing to you the news and events in Meghalaya from Don Bosco Media Network. Here are the headlines for today. Meghalaya Governor takes part in the Sir Syed Day Celebration 2020, National Voluntary Blood Donation Day 2020 observed in the state and Nongram Hills locality launches Dorbash Nong website. And now the news in detail. The annual felicitation program come Foundation Day and to mark the National Voluntary Blood Donation Day 2020, organized by Aijing M Voluntary Blood Donor in collaboration with Meghalaya AIDS Control Society, State Blood Transfusion Council Meghalaya and the Regional Blood Bank Pasture Institute was held today 17 October at Wright Laban Secondary School Shillong to facilitate the voluntary blood donors for the year 2020. Present on the felicitation program was Srimati Isawanda Lalu, the DC East Castles as the chief guest, Besides Dr. Alia, the project director of Meghalaya AIDS Control Society, Mr. J.P. Nongkanri, the president of Aijing Involuntary Blood Donor, Mr. E.D.R. Taryang, the director of Printing Press Government of Meghalaya, Dr. Karis Bhutna, in charge of Regional B Blood Bank Pasteur Institute, M. Shilla, advisor of Aijing M. Blood Donor, and other dignitaries, invitees, and blood donors. The program started with a welcome speech by the president of the Aijing M. Voluntary Blood Donor Organization, Mr. J.P. Nongkanri. A.M. Noreen Dunai, winner of Mrs. Seven Sisters 2020, rendered a melodious song titled Shania Skem, dedicating the song to all the frontliners and head workers of COVID-19. Dr. R. Alia, while thanking the Aijing involuntary blood donor for their noble job, she encouraged everyone to donate blood to save lives. After the speeches and the distribution of certificates to donors who includes couples, siblings and others, the DC Srimati Isawanda Lalu thanked the organization for rendering this human service to the society while praising them for the life-giving work Which they do. I, just, I guess just a handful of us in our lives can say that we have done, but it is immensely heartening to see a group of people uh, who have come together, who uh, on a regular basis come forward with the objective of uh, helping others out there. You don't know their names, you don't know, don't know their faces, but you know that that unit of blood which you give can save the lives of others. Uh, it is uh, wonderful to see such a group and it is great that we are able to acknowledge their efforts uh, through small tokens of appreciation so that um, you can also be motivated to continue to do this in your lives. Uh, we hope that a gathering such as this will further inspire others, will further uh, motivate others to come forward to support this noble cause and that organizations such as this will come up and come forward not only in this district but in the state as a whole. So once again, I convey my heartiest congratulations, uh, my appreciation and my gratitude uh, to the organization for, um, for convening this wonderful program. I congratulate and I thank all the blood donors who have donated blood this year and may this message be spread uh, to all our family members, all our friends, not only during this blood donation month but in the years to come so that people truly understand uh, the value of donating blood which can save the lives of others. The program came to an end with the vote of thanks proposed by Amanda Walang, a member of the Aijing and Blood Donor Organization. Project Director Max, and I 
Dr. Putna, members of the SBTC, but in charge of the Bank John Kapasya Institute, Nantaya Barakwaki Advisor, but in charge of the job, Nantaya Ayi Kublaikar Pang Mujim, DC Jungi, a Ms. Isawanda Lalu, IAS DC, is Kasiya. Nongrim Hills locality of Shillong today launched the Dorbar website, a Dorbar file and border mobile app at a function held at the Dorbar community amid strict adherence of health protocol issued by Meghalaya government. All the dignitaries who came to witness the launch of the website were assisted by the youths of the locality for hand sanitization before entering the hall. Social distance was also observed during the function. The website is a kind of data bank for all the residents that will be readily made available at the click of the bottom. The Dignitaries, including Meghalaya legislator Charles Pingrope, who represents the Nong Thamai Assembly constituency, Deputy Commissioner of East Janta Hills and resident of Nongrim Hills locality, Ethelbert Kalmalki, and East Khas Hills Deputy Commissioner Isawanda Lalu, including elders of the locality, were present at the function. Speaking on the occasion, Elthant Lingwa, who developed the website together with his colleagues, said the website will provide the names of all the incumbent office bearers of Nongrim Hills Dorbar Shnong, house owner and uh, residents. Uh, uh, the website, the software, the app, we have named them as uh, the Dorbar uh, It's been developed by uh, Eileen Studio along with different uh, people uh, from the grassroots level of the Dharmarshans. We came up with uh, the Dharmarshans app right when the lockdown started because we were seeing there were so many people who, who could go on their localities to buy their essential commodities and stuff. So with the help of uh, the Dharvaru app, which you can easily download on your phones uh, through Google Play Store. You see that we have, uh, I'm just going to give you a gist of what we have in the Dharvaru app. So it has a home page which uh, comprises of uh, various uh, government announcements and phone numbers of the government. It also contains a list of localities. Right now, we just have number hills. Uh, that has tied up with us in the future, maybe other localities will uh, work along with us. Millions of the underprivileged, the poor and the needy here, was so well organized. But in fact, I had really had to appreciate the work you had done. Had it been left out, however, they came to me like that. Really, we could have done it. We have a snow, what about the speech? One of Vishnu, and today we are proud. We must be happy and more. We buy the work of the Mrs. Savanda. I don't mind the deputy commissioners. We will do to my Sayuna Paramarjan. And now, really, I'm going to see any before morning off of my window. I can see you. Paramarjan. I don't know. Till now, this act is very important. And the most important thing that struck me was. That it is also a means of employment, which we need to make. We need the means of employment so that our, our youth will not turn to other activities which are detrimental to society. Shri Satya Pal Malik, Governor of Meghalaya, today took part in the Sursite Day Celebration 2020 of Aligarh Muslim University as Chief Guest. Shri Satya Pal Malik joined the prestigious event through virtual platform as dignitaries like Vice Chancellor of AMU Professor Tarif Mansoor, Pro Vice Chancellor, and others joined him also through virtual platform from Aligarh Muslim University, Mumbai, and United States of America. So, site the celebration is observed every year on 17th October to mark the birth anniversary of Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, who was the founder of Aligarh Muslim University and a noted educationist and reformist born in 1817. In his presidential speech, Honorable Governor of Meghalaya lauded the tremendous contribution of Aligarh Muslim University in the field of academics, research and sports. He praised the students for their sense of duty, dedication and sincerity. He also fondly remembered the time when he was Member of Parliament representing the parliamentary constituency under which AMU falls. He also thanked the Vice-Chancellor of AMU for his support provided to Kashmiri students when he was Governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Shri Satyapal Malik 
conferred the Sir Syed International Excellence Award on Professor Gail Minolt of Austin, Texas, United States of America, and the National Award under the same category on Anjumant e Islam, Mumbai. He also presented through online mode awards and honors to mark the occasion. It is pertinent to note that this year is the centenary year of AMU, which was established in 1920. Today, the 17 October, at about 8 a.m., a truck loaded with shredded bamboo bearing the registration number UP5180-2949, driven by unknown person while proceeding from Maurangkening towards Gauti on reaching at Shillong Bypass, Umken Bridge, Thangshalai dash against a dumper truck registration number ML05R4935. After that, it went and hit five roadside vendors, Balarihon Karkongol, Gracefully Nongri, Bante Bha Bina, Shantilang Nongri, and Korbar Singh Khardud. All of them are of Thangshalai village and the Morongkening police station. The four ladies died on the spot while Korbar Singh Khardud died on the way to hospital. It was informed that the driver fled away from the spot. Necessary action is being taken to apprehend the driver. A case is being registered at Morongkening police station. SP City, SP Traffic and additional SP Traffic visited the police outpost. Let us now have a glimpse of COVID-19 update for today. With that, we have come to the end of today's edition. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.